listening for deviations from print. You're, I'm going to have you actually listening. What are you going to listen for? Uh, some people call them errors. Some people call them miscues. I call them deviations from print because anything that the kid says that's not there in print is marked as, an, as a deviation. It's something that interferes with fluency and accuracy. So substitutions. Um, I had a kid once who said he opened the goat instead of he opened the gate. That's a perfect example of substitution. They get the first sound, the last sound. Makes no sense. Sometimes they go on, sometimes they self-correct. Uh, sometimes they make what are, I call our partial pronunciations. So the word is word, and the kid says rad. That's not a real word. So that's also a deviation from print. Uh, sometimes they omit. Instead of in the park, the student reads in park. That is an omission, omitted a word. Sometimes they omit a piece of the word. They read dog instead of dogs. That's still an omission because they've missed a piece of that word. So both those would be two different omissions, okay? Sometimes there's insertions. The child may read at the home instead of at home or may read dogs instead of dog. So again, anything that's not there or extra put in is a deviation from print. Uh, repetitions. I may be the only um, person in the field of reading who counts repetitions. And it's because of my background with kids with dyslexia and reading disabilities. Uh, because reading disability is really a processing problem. It's the, I know if a kid reads in the park, in the park, they've read it correctly, but it is a processing disorder that it interferes with being able to read accurately, with fluently. And for some kids, the biggest problem is repetitions. It interferes with fluency. So do mark repetitions. You can mark when they do three words in a row, that's one repetition. If they do park alone, that's one rec rec uh, repetition. I've had kids say park, park, park. That's three, three repetitions. All correctly reading it, but sort of like a um, reading stutter, right? So you, can, you mark each instance of when's in the park. Let me make one caveat, which is, if a kid says, in the parks, and then goes back to correct it by saying, in the park, in the parks is marked as uh, an insertion, but going back to self-correct is not marked as a repetition. Is that clear? So you mark the original deviation from print, but if they go back to self-correct, you just make note that they did that. It's not counted as a repetition if they do that. Because they'll very often go back and do two or three words in a row. Let me see if that's it. Oh, and then there are kids who just sit there and wait for you to give them the word. So after about four seconds, just give them the word and let them go on. Don't have them sound it out or anything. Just give them the word and have them go on. And that's a, a, a deviation from print. <coughs> 